claims and members of the board. Beginning November 1st, an important milestone for many of our 12th grade students was reached. Their first college application deadline. Tonight, I bring your attention to this very important matter. For 18 years in their lives, our seniors have been uh, continuously uh, looking forward to this period, uh, to this deadline through uh, from uh, making plans for post uh, high school, whether it's uh, college, uh, trade, career, or the armed forces, our soon-to-be graduates make the best choices for themselves. One of the first things that we do as uh, young adults. Baltimore County for years has placed an emphasis on preparing our students to be successful in their future endeavors. And for the most part, we have done a tremendous job. I am solely speaking on this matter tonight because I want to remind our school leaders and individual school, uh, educators on how fragile this period is for our seniors. With uh, And this year, with the added uh, challenges of the pandemic, uh, this has just exacerbated uh, much of their apprehensions. This year, uh, our students not only have to worry about college deadlines and its many components, uh, keeping up with their schoolwork and their extracurriculars, but they also have to uh, worry about uh, not having a completed application due to uh, uh, postponements with SATs and other standardized tests, keeping up, uh, getting new information from uh, various colleges, and being able to properly uh, solicit uh, letters of recommendations from their teachers, and just the added stress uh, to their emotion, uh, added uh, stress due to uh, the uh, online learning. Although our schools provide a plethora of resources to help uh, ease the, uh, this very daunting process, uh, and certainly families play, in, play an important role, many of our students, especially those of lower socioeconomic backgrounds and those who attend, uh, who attend schools with less opportunities, uh, have a harder time and sometimes uh, are forgotten in the process. Many of the students have aspirations like any other student, but because of uh, lack of opportunities uh, to be prepared for the test, for standardized tests, uh, not knowing about certain uh, information concerning college uh, applications, uh, career and uh, the armed forces, uh, some of them don't uh, even uh, take to participate in this process. I ask that when we're discussing uh, college and career ready for our seniors, that we also not forget these uh, students and reach out to some students that who are struggling. And we should not only focus on graduation requirements, we should also fo uh, focus on what those students will do at the end following their graduation. I know that other board members have talked about this at length. Um, Miss Mack, for one, who talks about our students um, being English, uh, math and reading proficient uh, uh, as the years go by. And she talks about how a student can be uh, left behind if they are not proficient uh, in these subjects at an early age. So I just hope that we can remedy these uh, these problems before we get in, uh, as they go through high school and eventually their college application, because that really, um, to be detrimental to them. So that will be my only uh, comment for tonight. And uh, like Dr. Williams said, I wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and I look forward to a productive meeting. Thank you. Thank you.